Look at this. How would you like to get this inside of an Easter egg? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Bean Meister 22 here. And check it out. I was going through the holiday decorations because you got, you know, this isn't Christmas. It's Easter, but, the, you know, it's all in the same box. And I found this. This is a big Black Widow spider with a big egg sack. And just looking at the color of this egg sack, it is not too far away from hatching. And it is so close to hatching, you know, due by the darker color, that I am not even going to open it up, whether under a camera or a microscope or nothing. I have got to get rid of it quick before baby spiderling monsters start crawling, boiling out of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this is egg sack number five and black widow spider number nine. I already made a video showing some egg sacks we found, and then uh, I had a couple egg sacks that I filmed that I didn't upload yet. Maybe I'll show those videos, maybe I won't. It was essentially me just cutting them open to see what was inside. So far, none of the egg sacks that I have found have been this close to hatching. Um, that's kind of a good sign, and that means that the black widow spiders are new in here. You know, or, ugh, it's a new infestation. If I'd been finding more darker egg sacs or empty egg sacs, that means that hatchings have already been happening. Now, clearly, because we found multiple Black Widow spiders, hatchings have happened, whether in the house or in the garage or in storage or in the, you know, the stuff in the boxes that we've been bringing into the house. It happens somewhere. But the fact that these are newer egg sacs, I mean, I think it's positive. If I have to find an egg sack, I mean, dang, I'd like it to be a newer one, right? And remember what we do. We take the egg sack out, and it is put in one of these mouse sticky traps, sealed up, squorched, and then put in a Ziploc bag and then disposed of. Okay, so yeah, you see how sticky this is? Yeah, I lost. Losing a glove here. Yeah, lost the glove, but th that's fine. And these gloves... You know, they are not going to stop a black widow spider from biting me, so why am I wearing them? Because I don't want to touch an icky black widow spider. Ugh. You know, they could be like black widow spider germs or something. We don't want any part of that. Now we just need to eliminate this black widow spider. And this is a this is a good-sized black widow spider. If these were the older videos, remember, we'd eliminate them by putting them in a container with maybe a scorpion or even a centipede. Gotta, they got to feed the centipede, right? Yeah, but, you know, we're much more humane now. So uh, it was disrespectful to do it in the way that I had done it in the past. And that's why uh, that channel doesn't exist anymore, you know, with trolls and spider lovers. And I mean, you can love a spider and no, you can't have it in the house. And no, you can't turn it outside. They don't live in my area. Besides, this time of year you put it outside, it's going to die. So maybe I should put them outside. But just in case it, you know, crawled into somebody's house, I can't risk it. All right, so this is spider number nine. Oh, gosh, I hate black widow spiders. All right, so you ever seen a real black widow before? Are they creepy? Are they scary? Well, I know it because I have seen hundreds of them. In the first infestation, there was more than 100, less than 200. You know, I can say hundreds. So there was a whole heck of a lot of them. And I can tell you right now, I don't like them. And yeah, they are creepy, they are scary, they can do damage, they can bite you. Yeah, I just don't want any part of that. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.